All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another live reaction for Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, episode 21. Uh, last episode was pretty crazy. Didn't think it was going to go was in the direction that it went. Like, you know, you think after all that that Tanjiro did, he was going to end Rui's reign of terror with that attack. And come to find out, all for nothing. Kind of sucks. Dude was pretty smart. Wouldn't have thought that's how he, that's how he went out because he did it so slick and smooth. Wouldn't even notice. Rewatch that scene over and 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 over again. And he cut his own head off with the press before he can swag his head off. Like, if he was smart enough to do that, I wonder what the higher ups are gonna do when he when they come in contact with him. Cause that's that's rough. Anyway, let's get into this reaction, you guys, and enjoy. Oh, this is when he used to be human. Was he always a sickly kid or something like that? What's going on here? He must have been like a Mr. Glass type coming up. Ah, uh, That's not a good trade-off. You killed your parents, my nigga? No, those are his parents. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but that's because you killed somebody. You can't just go around killing people and think my parents are monsters. No, nigga, you tried to, you killed someone. Probably a younger sibling, maybe. This has been some type of understanding, right? Ah. Uh, yeah. It was. Yeah. Wait. Are you just now remembering all of this now? Man, this dude is a real coward and a real sleazeball, man. Like, the more and more I see him, like, the more and more I can't stand him. Which makes it all the harder that he has a human family of his own. Like, that pisses me off. And he does it so effortlessly, like, it means nothing. Oh, he dead dead. He dissolving now. Dang, I actually feel bad. Why is his vision going out of focus when his head isn't even there? That's deep, man. So close yet so far. Oh, that hurts! Yo, that stings! That blames! Hug him. Touch his hand. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Why does the show make me feel these things? Oh my god! If I was a Machito, I'd cry! <sighs> oh my god! No! Peace. Look, look, <laughs> look, 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 hold on. I came into this episode expecting to get fired up and see action and dopeness and tightness, and I didn't expect to get waterworks, my nigga. I'm tougher than that, my nigga. This cannot be a thing. Y'all can't be doing me like this. This is unheard of. It's unprecedented. I don't like it. I don't appreciate you trying to get into my heart and play with it like a little violin and guitar starts. Don't play with me! <laughs> Disrespectful. They're, vic they're victims of circumstance, bro. Like, it's not fair. Like, you really kind of feel for some of them. Like, they just, they got into this position because they just got into this position. Like, that's like talking about Nezuko, my nigga. Move! Oh, did you not remember who that was before? Oh, he was, she was going for Nezuko! What? <laughs> Why are they doing this? 
Why did he pity myself? The fact that he's able to even run to that extent right now is really remarkable and incredible, all things considered. Thank you for letting us know that, because... <laughs> She's hecka getting irritated with her. Why is she so petty? Ah! So what is the scar? I don't understand his scar. What? Hold on. We need to talk about this. What is the deal with the scar? It started one way, which was an obvious scar on his face. And then after he got into the demon core, all of a sudden the scar is like this weird tattoo. Resembling nothing of the original scar. I need answers. But if there's spoilers, I don't want answers. <laughs> but at least tell me that much if it's a spoiler or not. Then I'll probably do my own due diligence. But don't tell me if it's a spoiler. Like some superpower type deal with his scar. Because that's just... That's... If it is, that's stupid. Dang, I know he feels bad for not being able to do anything. It's okay, you know, it's okay. You'll get there. Oh, no, you're plenty strong. You just, you just have some trouble. That's all. Oh, he's awake now. Hey, his little sparrows there. I didn't even notice he was up there. That concludes this episode for Demon Slayer Kimitsu no Yaiba, episode 21! Yeah! It was a lot going on in this episode. None real action packed per se, aside from like the little scrimmage between uh, Shinobu and Gyu. That was fun to watch. Um, and then freaking Nezuko running around trying to avoid the girl. That was so cute. She's so cute. I love this show. Um, it was a lot going on, but I, I loved this episode. It was it was still pretty good, just as much as it was action packed because it's it left us in a good place of figuring out okay where are we going from here now with all this action that's been going on with the beautiful animation from episode nineteen to this point on and whatnot. Like you know how are we how are we moving forward now now that this whole spider arc is pretty much kind of coming to a close and we're moving on to the next arc and stuff like that, which I'm sure we're going to get more into with only a few episodes left of the season and whatnot. It's very interesting to see what the next phase of this is going to be because you know you really don't know where it's going to go from here because it started off in one way and it completely just skips over and goes to this other realm that we we're just we were not prepared for. <laughs> and uh, seeing the Hashiras, I think that's how they said it, they all look like bosses. Except the chick over there. She looks like What's-Her-Face from Bleach. With the two big buns and the gigantic titty cleavage hanging out there. That's... I'm gonna remember her. I don't know who that is down there next to Shinobu. I want to say it's a dude. Because he doesn't look... It doesn't look like he could be a chick. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. It's like a very confusing mix of looking like a female and not looking like a female. I don't really know. Clearly, the other ones are definitely dudes, but especially like, you know, the Digimon looking nigga in the center. I'm sure he's the big bad savage of them all, probably, but, you know, we'll get to that eventually, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully we do. I doubt we'll get to see much of what I, what they all can do, but I just, we just gotta know that they're, like, the big, the big bads for a reason, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking real promising. I love this show. I promote this show. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I'm out of here now. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Pass this video along to others who may enjoy it. And uh, I'm out of here, you guys, because 
I, my heart can't take any more, any more of this. They already hit me in the heartstrings super heavy. Like, if I keep rewatching those scenes in the very beginning with Rui and his family and being human and all that, I'm really going to break down and cry because that was a lot, my nigga. Like, that was a lot, a lot. It was a, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. Thanks for watching, you guys. And I will be here telling it like it is. Yeah.